More than 70 years after the Second World War, there remain, even after all this time, acts of incredible bravery that are still being recognised. Gabriella Ezra, who lives in Brighton, was a teenager in Italy during the war. In its final months, the Nazis rounded up all the men in her village and were preparing to shoot them when 17-year-old Gabriella stepped in, risking her own life to save them. That bravery has finally earned her a medal from the Italian government. It makes me very emotional because I remember everything that happened on that day. The day when Gabriella Ezra saved every man in an Italian village. Bravery that's been rewarded with the star of Italy. She was just a teenager when 38 men, including her father, were lined up in front of a German firing squad. Well, my heart was breaking and when my father passed by me, and took out his watch and some papers or something, give them to mama. You know, I thought, oh, he knows, he knows something perhaps that, that I'll never see him again. It was only two weeks before the end of the Second World War in Europe when the Italian resistance would parade in nearby Venice in front of Allied forces. But a fortnight earlier, in the small village of Capella di Scorze, the Nazis had planned to kill all the Italian patriots left. After resistance members hid their identification in the cow shed on the right of this photograph, Gabriella, fluent in German, persuaded the commandant that they were all innocent farmers. I was not scared. I was worried about everybody around me. But, I, but uh, knowing German, I felt I had a kind of weapon. She was told if she was lying, she would be shot too. But they believed the 17-year-old. What did your father say to you after? Because you risked your life to save his. He didn't say anything. He just hugged me and said, let's go to Mama. After the war, she married a British army officer and moved to the UK. But what she did in 1945 has now finally been rightly rewarded. Richard Pallow, News at 10, Brighton. Amazing story. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it?